problem. Bone defects can occur at any age. Often they require complex bone tissue transplant surgery. The therapy would be much more simple if doctors could easily regenerate specific bone tissue for each individual patient. Professor Michael Rass heads the clinic of maxillofacial surgery, where they reconstruct facial bones damaged by serious accidents or cancer. This patient has had surgery to treat three tumours over the past 10 years. His jaw had to be reconstructed from pieces of healthy bones taken from various parts of his body. So, Professor, for this kind of surgeries, you need to use the patient's own bones, uh, which cannot be ideal. It's not ideal because the bone that you have harvested will not regrow. You have loss of muscle function, loss of sensitivity, you have scars. And the surgery takes quite a long time. Synthetic implants or tissue from other donors can be rejected by the patient's body. A European research project is working on a treatment that aims at overcoming these drawbacks. So how is uh, the method you are suggesting different from what is used nowadays? The big advantage of our method is that we're using the body's own cells, so there is no immune reaction against foreign products, and it's accepted by the body perfectly. Scientists are trying to grow tailored bone implants in the lab. First, a pig intestine is treated to remove all pig cells. The blood vessels are accurately preserved. Then, the clean collagen structure is filled with bone replacement materials and the patient's stem cells. The pig intestine is the right material for several reasons. First, its decellularization process is very well established. And second, it's the right size, as we're looking for implants in the range of a few centimeters. These granules are beta tricalcium phosphate, a material which is similar to bone, so-called bone replacement material, seeded with stem cells that we get from the bone marrow of the patient. The preparation of the transplant is finalized in the incubator, providing the necessary conditions for the bone to grow. Researchers have developed an extensive set of tools and materials to treat various bone defects at different ages. We conducted pre-clinical trials and are hoping to successfully start the clinical trials by the end of the year. If it works out, in the future, this will be the way towards clinical use. Looking even further ahead, this spin-off company works on a method to produce bone implants using 3D printers. In the future, surgeons will use 3D printers at their clinics to produce implants immediately after the patient arrives and gets an MRI scan. So each patient will be receiving a personalized implant. Researchers are working on combining ceramics and polymers with diamond nanoparticles to print biocompatible bone substitutes of any required size and shape.